Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we're going to be painting the Novak Dynasty Necron Warriors. Now this is probably my second favorite paint scheme for Necrons. It involves some good red edge highlighting. It's a fairly simple scheme, and it shouldn't take you too long to do. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted this model. To start this model off, we're going to prime it with Lead Belcher Spray Primer from Citadel. Now the first thing we're going to do with this model is do an all over wash using Null Oil. Now it's okay to go as heavy or as light as you'd like with the Null Oil, just be aware that the heavier you go, the darker your model is going to end up being. Once that layer of shade is dried, we're going to use Necron Compound, and we're going to dry brush this all over the model. Once again, you can go as heavy or as light as you'd like, depending on how bright you want the model to be and how much light you would like it to reflect. Now we're going to use Contrast Black Templar, and we're going to pick out the weapon of the Necron. We're going to pick out the handle, and all of the support structure on the weapon. We're going to be careful not to get this on the barrel, nor on the axe that's on the end of the weapon. Now we're going to use Stormhost Silver. We're going to edge highlight all of the most raised edges of the armor plates. We'll also grab a couple spots on the blaster itself. We generally want to focus on areas where the paint has already shown through. Since it's a contrast paint, it's going to allow the silver to show through already. We're just enhancing that. Now we're going to take Corn Red, and we're going to paint this all over the shoulder pads and on his face mask. And just be careful not to get this on the areas that we want to keep silver. Once we finished up our red layer, we're going to shade the head using Agrax Earthshade. And we're also going to apply this on the shoulder pads, but we're not going to apply it to the whole shoulder pad. We're only going to apply it in the recess part, right there at the base where the armor piece turns upwards. Now once the shade is dried, we're going to use Evil Sun Scarlet. We're going to edge highlight this. Now you can do a somewhat thick edge highlight here because we're going to be using an additional color to do another layer of highlighting here in just a second. So don't worry about being too exact with this. Now that we've finished that, we're going to use Wild Rider Red, and we're going to do just a very fine edge highlight on top of the highlight we did previously. Now this isn't supposed to be as thick as the previous highlight, so make sure you use a nice fine detail brush, and take your time, don't get in a rush. Now with that done, we're going to take Rune Lord Brass, we're going to paint this on all of the tubes that are on the model, specifically the textured tubes. The smooth tubes we're going to do in green later on. Now we're going to take Warpstone Glow. We're going to paint this on all of the smooth cables that are coming off of the model. Once that is dried, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade again, and we're going to shade this on the cables on the model. Now we're going to use Corax White, and we're going to pick out all of the areas that we want to glow on the model. This is going to include the eyes, and all of the different little circles on the barrel of the blaster. And you don't have to be perfect with this, because we are going to paint over this with a technical paint here in just a second. Now that that's done, we're going to use Tesseract Glow. We're just going to paint this all over 
the white areas. Now it's okay to let this pool up. In fact, pooling up is going to make it so that the recesses are darker and the white areas appear to glow more. Now that that's all done, I'm going to take Moot Green. We're going to use this to highlight all of the green cables that we did before. But we're not painting this over the entire cable, just on the areas that we think would most catch the light. And with that, our model is done. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and like it. And then go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos. Then go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Again, thank you so much for watching today. Have a great day, and we will see you next time.